You are listening to Unity in Our Community on Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM. Yeah, so thank you for joining Unity in the Community on this thank rainy, you for me. rainy Saturday morning. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, so I just want to talk about you really and um, yourself and, um, you know, a bit about who you are. And, um, you know, that's it really, just a little bit about your story. And, uh, yeah, so tell us a little bit about yourself. So you're, you're Cardiff based. I'm Cardiff based, um, and uh, but I am from um, from London originally. Right. Um, but I live in Cardiff now, and um, uh, I'm, I've been over the years. I've been involved in a lot of community activities. I have mm. a lot of interest in that, yeah. and I'm sort of really uh, interested in community cohesion and things like that. And I've worked with, you know, volunteered with various charities as well. Um, and uh, some of the key things which we've done in Cardiff is that um, I've been part of the uh, um, eye care program. Eye care program uh, is a program where we distribute free meals to needy families. Okay. Um, so we've been doing that. We did that a lot during COVID. Yeah. Around Cardiff and even New it's Cardiff and Newport based. Hmm. So we did that. So that's something that we're sort of. What's uh, it called again? In. The project. Eye care. I care. As in, uh, I care. I actually care. Yeah, I care. Yeah. I got care. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and so that was really well received. And uh, uh, I think a colleague of mine was um, on interviewed about that as well mm. um, by a local newspaper. And uh, so that's, you know, and um, other things. Um, I also volunteer with MEND, uh, you know, about MEND. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, also does a lot of. Uh, you know, supporting activities for the community, etc. Mm. Um, and um, I'm also sort of really involved in sports. And I've, you know, I think sports is an excellent way uh, to unite different communities because everybody's interested in sports. Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a cricket coach. I've been a football referee. We've done sort of various tournaments. We've done a uni unity tournament in Cardiff, which was very, you know, well received um mm. and you know south wales police the um the welsh ambulance were involved in that the south wales police won it unfortunately but uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah we didn't out but well i was refereeing and i played in the tournament as well so things like that so you know it's various activities where when and where we can sort of help out also with the local mosques in the community um uh we do sort of um you know tidying up the place going out getting the youngsters out picking up rubbish and you know um and also going out and uh you know talking to homeless people mm. also uh, the mosques in the local community uh providing you know free food for homeless people so i can just come in wow. and just pick up yeah. something to eat you know yeah and things like that and uh, we've also got a young person's uh sort of uh set up where Anyone in the community, you know, they can call and the young people will go and help them if they need medication or anything like that. We've got a, a Muslim medical group, which is a group of doctors, etc. And oh, they right. also hold in uh, regularly in the mosque. And this is open to everybody yeah. you know, to come in to get their blood sugar checked, their, uh, you know, uh, things like that, you know, mm. um, um, and the weight and all these things just to... Uh, give them advice on how they can leave a better, you know, lead a better lifestyle, etc. And these are all free activities. These are activities Amazing. for the community. Yeah. So you know all these things. So it's really about engagement, and you know, and a lot of these things people don't know about in the broader community. No, I wouldn't know that. And the other thing, the other thing that we sort of do is we also engage with the local churches as well, local mm. Christian communities, the local Jewish mm. communities, synagogues, etc. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, so there's a lot of positive stuff that goes on, yeah, but unfortunately brilliant. it's not covered. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of people who are doing these things, you know, mm. silently, um, uh, because mm. everybody, look, Jess, you know, everybody wants the same. Absolutely you know, we, agree. We, yeah. don't, we don't realize how, how similar we are, you know, we're, well, we're all, we all humans. want the same, <laughs> you know, we all want, the, you know, we all want, uh, um, the best for our families, for our children. We all want mm. the same opportunities, etc. 
And, uh, you know, um, the more we help each other and the more we engage in communities, which I've mm. seen over the years has increased very positively. Yeah. Not only in Cardiff, it's happening all over the country. It, I see it as well. Like where yeah. I live, um, there's and, and, so many you know, this initiative, You know, this initiative of yours, you know, Unity, and, you know, these things didn't happen back in the day. You know, it wasn't so, um, you know... Um, the media is getting much much more interested in these stories about the community, how we engage with each other, how we help each other. It wasn't mm. really something that was, you know, the media was interested in, even mm. at the local level. But now mm. we're seeing, you know, these things coming out. So it's all it's really really positive. So I'm an optimist, you know, and I've seen a lot of positivity. In yeah. this. I think Cardiff is a brilliant city. It really is. And yeah. you know, I'm I'm from London, like I said. I've chosen to live here, bring up my kids here um lovely friendly people mm. and there's a lot of goodness around yes a lot of goodness around despite what we're seeing in the media you know i think the mainstream media you know tends to just report so much negativity absolutely um, um you know i think we're living through this time though where um unfortunately it's kind of coming from the top the divisive uh kind of language that's being used you know, right from the top is very disheartening, but it's not really representative of our communities or people that we know. No, like I'm sure when you go out and about in the community, you're actually in your community. You, you're not, you know, you're finding, like you say, you're positive. People are positive, you know, and you're working together as a collective to make things better for, yes. you know, by the people, for the people. Absolutely. And that's how it should be. And you know, that yeah. should be encouraged. Unfortunately, Jess, you know, on, on the political side, you know, um, from my experience, I've engaged with politicians as well and things like that, you know, local MPs, etc. cetera. Mm. And yeah, then you find it disappointing. You know, they're always sort of more, in, you know, it's all about their, it's all about them. It's all about their objectives as a party and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, really. And yeah. you know, there's a lot of, unfortunately, they let us down. Well, absolutely 100 and, and you know and one thing about social media jess you know mm. great thing is that people are getting educated people know what's going on now and people yeah want to we do see good. them we can yeah. see <laughs> yeah, people are thinking oh look no, we're not you know we're not going to be duped by the politics now and the rhetoric no. and the narratives that's coming out right? we can actually do a lot ourselves to mm. make our lives better to make lives better for our communities and that's what everybody wants jess that's what you want that's what yeah. i want we want to live in harmony. We want to help mm. each other. We want to, you know, grow as a society, as a community. And Absolutely. you know, we've got we've got a, such a great multicultural community in Cardiff. Yeah, and it's we such do. A success. Yeah. You know, you have people from all over the place. You know, mm. and um, but it's about engaging. We all need to, uh, you know, respect each other and engage more with one another because we want the same. Yes, we want yeah. the same. You know, we want yeah. the same for us, for our families, for our children, and mm. broader. You know, everybody wants to see a harmonious, happy society. Yeah, and I love I, um, I love diversity. Um, I love learning more about other cultures, religions. It just enriches you, your knowledge, course. um, and it helps you to understand your neighbour. Or you know, like I've learned so much. I've been um, working with East for a long time, and mm -hmm. with. Uh, I worked on the Syrian refugee resettlement program. I worked on lots well, of different projects, yes. and um, you know, I'm I'm kind of like a minority in East, you know. So it, for me, it's really interesting to learn and you know absorb and like some of the things you know they rub off on you or you know I just I just enjoy that like and I don't see like I don't understand why people are scared or they have like a negative. Uh, Picture. I mean, obviously, maybe I do because the media are part of the problem no, uh, to do with those it. pictures. Yeah. But, um, you know, when you talk to your neighbours or, you know, you're just learning and understanding more about like what's important to them or when they have like certain holidays or, you know, when it's Ramadan, like all those things that I've learned about, it only enriches you to understand and learn that. Absolutely. And, and you know, for, uh, you know, um, um, you know, in, in Islam, you know, as Muslims, we have the holy month Ramadan. After mm. that, we have an Eid, which is like, you know, which is our uh, religious celebration, like Christmas. Or, and, you know, we do a we do, we, we, Citizens UK is another charity 
um, and uh, they arrange, um, you know, a, a sort of Eid party in Grangetown in the pavilion. Mm. And it's amazing to see, you know, the whole community attends that, you know, in their stalls. And I don't know if you've ever been, but please, you know, do uh, try and attend if you can. But, um, you know, it's a wonderful thing, you know, and yeah. everybody, all communities are represented there, you know. Uh, of Cardiff and it's, it's, it really is nice so there's a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of positivity out there um, we need to shut off from the media you know narrative mm. Um, mm. because I mean you know uh, I mean I don't want to get too you know political in this but you know I, I've lost all sort of um, trust in the politicians and politics you know well, I don't think you're alone there at all I think we all have I think yeah it's kind of like I mean for me personally I'm just watching and like my mouth is just going oh my god did you just say that like like I find it absolutely shocking yeah yeah you know yeah. <laughs> just but, like, you know but wow. we have to sort of yeah we have to sort of rise above it yeah you know, we've all got brains we've all got minds we're all educated people right mm. and, and we live in a wonderful society you know mm. this country gives us the ability to uh, you know, and uh, to you know, um, um, do these things and yeah. you know, be you know uh, to have an independent voice and to really you know use that you know. Mm. Um, so we're allowed to do that in this country, mm. um, which is great. So we should take advantage but of we that. We still have to country. make sure you know that we we do have that ability because I think that um, some of the things politically that've been going on have been, you know heading more and more towards like authoritarianism and um I yes. think we do have to be careful we have to make sure that we do stand up for our rights that we Absolutely. have and that um we've that have been fought for in the past yeah yeah so we do need to be aware of that 